Do people deny irrefutable and immutable proof? We're looking at four images of eight alleged astronauts. These are crops of the 5,130 dot per inch 11K 70 millimeter film scans from the handheld Hasselblad camera with a 60 millimeter lens downloadable from Arizona State University's Apollo Image Archive. These are the original film scans. However, we crop them for better clarity and 16 by 9 aspect ratio for the comparison. No other modifications are made of any aspect of the images we're zooming in, nothing more. Focus on the visors. The four astronauts, in particular, mirrored on the visors. Do you see the problem? This is the portable life support system. The moon in the worship system of the false god Apollo is a physical and visitable location. This imaginary physical location lacks air, therefore anyone without a portable air supply and cooling system passes out within minutes and shortly after dies. The body roasting within the suit as in a hot oven. We're adjusting the color levels of our comparison image here for improved visual clarity. No other modifications are made. Notice in this image, allegedly, of Edwin Aldrin with Neil Armstrong mirrored in the visor is further distant than this image, which is allegedly of Gene Kernan with Harrison Schmidt mirrored in the visor. And the life support system is visible in this further distant image, yet not visible in this closer image. Not only that, but this image shows Neil directly facing the camera, causing more obstruction of the light support system. And in this image, Harrison stands at a 45 degree turn, replicating our comparison image here, removing the suit obstruction from blocking the view. The portable life support system is not there. And as for anyone who sees the shadow on the ground that somewhat resembles the life support pack and thereby justifies not seeing the backpack as perfectly fine, ignoring an image creator whistleblowing for the masses and denying Jesus' leading hand for seeking truth based upon naive understandings of 1960s special effects and, most of all, pride. This is a similitude which has the same visual effect using 1960s imaging techniques, although this is not necessarily the way the effect was made. This is the multiplane camera. The first full production model was constructed in 1937 by Walt Disney, which, God willing, and we're still alive, is getting covered in an upcoming 1960s special effects focused analysis more in depth. Multiple planes, or as in called in Photoshop or in GIMP, layers, enables immense image manipulation, such as adding or removing specifics from any scene. The method works by printing film images on especially clear glass, first developed in 1938, often called museum glass or invisible glass. Then layering the glass prints accordingly for the situation. As for this similitude of the image of the missing backpack, both of these astronauts are full size and fully adjustable mannequins. The camera shutter is radio operated held in the hands of the mirrored mannequin astronaut. Capture two images, one with the life support backpack on and another with it off. After printing both images onto glass, scrape away the image with the backpack on, leaving only the shadow of the backpack. Finally, layer the now scraped image atop the other and reframe and recapture the image, giving a perfect duplicate of what we see. An astronaut without the life support backpack and an unmatching shadow. Keep in mind, Stanley Kubrick extensively used many variations of this method in his motion film 2001 A Space Odyssey which premiered in 1968. So this astronaut standing here without a portable life support system proves these images are fraudulent. 
also because the moon is not a physical or accessible location. Do people deny irrefutable and immutable proof? Yes. Yes, they do. People who love truth accept the humbling truth that we are fallible beyond our own understanding and are in need of Jesus, the Savior and God of creation, whom offers eternal life unto any whom trust in his promises that he is God and shall save you from error and sin. For any whom call and lean upon him and magnify Jesus, Christ, God, before all people. For any whom deny Jesus, that he is God, shall be thrown into eternal fire, the place where the worm doesn't die, suffering without end, the everlasting prison for those who love evil wickedness and hate goodly righteousness. Jesus placed us upon the earth and gave us dominion of the earth, winged creatures and all else upon the earth and in the sea. Notice we were not given dominion over the stars. Little children, beware of images. <laughs>